you. Just take a moment, reflect, breathe in and breathe out. 2017 is coming to a close. I want you to close your eyes. Seriously, close your eyes. Because your eyeshadow is beautiful. I see each and every one of you. I want you to close your eyes. Think about the seasons of 2017. First season, where were you? In January, February. What goals did you set? And then March came around and it's spring. It's a little hot outside. It's like I'm getting out of the house and I'm free. And did you put your goals aside or run with them and blossom like the spring that came around and now it's March and it's a new season. April and May, where were you? Were you working on that summer body? putting together that business plan? Were you working on learning a new recipe or just doing something different to get out the house? Girl, I know, I understand, I'm a homebody too. But then comes summer and it's like, oh my goodness, why didn't I work on this in the winter, right? Y'all laughing because it's true. And so after the spring, there comes May and June and all the old bulls start calling. It's skin season. And then July and it's girls trip time. You get to let your hair down. But what about all of those things in January? It seems so far away, doesn't it? So you're halfway through the year. What were you doing in June and July? Because the reality is what you were doing at that time and uh, this year, 2017, set you up for why you're here today. I want you to open your eyes at the count of three. One, two, three. Welcome to your new life. My name is Melissa D. White, and as Lily said, I'm a minister, life coach, radio host, but most important, I'm on fire about my new life. Some of you may have wondered, and I saw a few people see my sign here, welcome to your new life. What that means is so important and critical to me. I think we've all had big dreams and big goals, right? That's why you're here. Many of you, I mean, it started with an idea. And I say ideas are like seeds that grow into oak trees when you water them. So that business, that catering business was a seed. That makeup line was a seed. That nonprofit was a seed. And you're here because it grew. Well, let me tell you something about your season. The title for today and the theme for today is, it's my season. Say, it's my season. It's my season. But what you don't realize, I want to welcome you to your new life because I'm going to change your thinking about my season. Traditionally, we tell ourselves that my season is one particular moment in time, right? We're always racing, thinking that my season is a destination that I'm constantly trying to reach. My season is going to be when I'm no longer single and I get to change my last name. My season is when I'm finally making money from my business and I can tell this job to kiss my, you know what, I'm a minister and I won't go there. My season <laughs> is that moment when finally I can have a legacy and just something in my savings account and the Georgia Power Bill ain't draining me every single month. Can I get a hello, somebody? Say, it's my season. It's my season. I'm welcoming you to your new life because, ladies, I want you to understand. It's not about this season. Every season is your season. Mm -hmm. Turn to another lady and say, every season is your season. Every season is your season. I know very churchy of me. I can't help it. <laughs> We can pass the collection plate later. Mm -hmm. All right. So while I'm talking through this, if you'd like to, you know, post on Instagram, um, use the hashtags for the event, please do so. I may share some nuggets with you that are those Oprah treatable moments. Please feel free to do so. Just tag me and you can take credit for it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I want to introduce you to what your new life looks like. Are y'all ready? 
If you have pen and paper, go ahead or you can take pictures and I'll leave my notes up here. I'm a trainer um, by trade. I spent 14 years as uh, in property management as a sales and marketing trainer. What does that mean? I get paid to run my mouth, so I get to go back to all those teachers that I got in trouble with to say, I get a check to talk, y'all. And so what's so important about that? That was a season in my life when I had to learn that my voice matter. Many of you came over to warmly greet me and ask more about what this sign is. This sign was the beginning of my season. So about two years ago, uh, well actually several years ago in August when Mike Brown died, something happened in me. Something in me broke. And that's what I call an activation hour. When you know that something happens, well you'll never be the same. Have you ever had an activation hour in your life? Your seasons will be full of activation hours. And those moments are critical. Start to document those things, okay? Because that means that you will never be the same. That's, that's the moment when you go from the old to the new thing. And something happened in me. By seeing his body in the street, I saw my brother, I saw my cousins, I saw my dad, I saw my uncles, and I said, I can't let this generation think that they deserve to be a body in the street. Now, let me tell you, at the time that this happened, I was at the height of my career, making pretty good money and traveling the world, teaching and speaking, not knowing that by doing one thing, like I said, that one thing is a seed. Say, I have a seed. I have a seed. I had a seed. I had a seed, which was this pledge card. And the pledge card was actually just a few words, a couple sentences. And I said, I just want kids to know that their voice matters. And so it was, placed, it was placed upon my heart to actually float this pledge card to several schools around Atlanta. What I did not know was very shortly after that, that pledge card just began to grow. I didn't do it online. It was literally a card, some words, and a couple of pens, okay? And I want you to understand, if you're responsible with one seed, God will give you many. Do you believe that? Yeah. So this is what happens when you take care of your seed. We tend to think that our season is this one destination. Can y'all see it okay? If not, like I said, I'll leave it up here for you. We think that we're actually going round and around, right? It's like, when am I ever going to get here? Y'all ever felt like that before? And so I want to tell you, it's okay to be in this place because the reality is your season is not a destination. It's a cycle. Say seasons or cycles. Seasons are cycles. It's a cycle. You will have several seasons that look the same. You ever gone through something? You're like, wait, I've gone through this already before. Y'all ever been there? You want to know why that happens? That is God's way of seeing if you're going to get it right this time. That's a tweetable moment. So I want to help you out with this. Let's just say I'm going to call this S1. This is season one. It's January, February, March. I'm ready to take off running. I've been at the It's My Season event. I have some goals. I did my vision board. Let's do this. Let's go. I'm going to get it done, right? January, February, March. Imagine this is 2018. We're already on next year, y'all. And so we go through that cycle. And so you're here. And you're planning. And you're working. And you're getting things in order. And then all of a sudden, before you know it, you look up and it's the spring, right? Where does the time go? And so now you're in the second season. And what happens? It gets warm outside. You start going to those day parties. <laughs> you got a little bit more to do. I'm feeling cute. I ain't got time to be working on this right now. And then you still feel like, well, I'm still here in the middle. What's going on with my business? How are my health and fitness goals? And so something happens in this second half. But I want you to understand, every season is my season. Say every season is my season. Every season is my season. So just because you're in a decline, I want to show you what's about to happen. All of a sudden, we as women find ourselves in the fall. It's called that for a reason. <laughs> The fall, that season of our lives, is when we start, look, we looking at old bulls start contacting you with they call it cuffing season or something like that. Mm -hmm. Don't fall for it. It's called the fall because you're now at the down of your cycle. 
everything that you thought about in the beginning of the year, how much of that stayed with you? Do you sit and evaluate? We start saying, oh man, the summer is over. I'm in the house now. Have I worked on my plans? Did I work out? Do I do any of that? We start feeling real bad for some reason. That's, that's atmospheric. I want you to know that. What happens in your season is that it's actually temporary. Each one of these only lasts for a short time, right? What matters is what you do with it. Say it's only temporary. It's only temporary. Some of us are in a fall right now and we're stuck there. Some of you got stuck in the place where you're down on yourself about what you didn't do in January and February, but today we're going to pull you out of that. We're not going to let you fall. And that's the important thing is women. Don't think you're falling by yourself. There are women here. I think we can all agree that, hey, we got stuck somewhere. There was a see the season change. It's no longer spring. The fall is here. We're almost at a new year. Some of y'all are still living in stuff that happened to you in October. Stuff that happened to you in the spring when that boyfriend broke up with you. When you lost that job. So let me tell you what happened to me that made me realize a season is not just one point in time in your life. It's truly been my season in 2017 because honestly, I never thought going back to that pledge card, that seed that that would turn into a nonprofit organization. The funny thing about life is that ideas are never given to you in whole, are they? Mm -hmm. If you did it, you would take off running with it, right? Mm -hmm. If God said, I want you to create some lipstick and it's gonna make you millions of dollars, you would have got up and ran right then, right? All he said was, I just want you to do one thing. I want you to create a color, right, Lisa? Lisa, right? And you said, all right, well, I tried, right? <laughs> we do that, right? All right, I did, all right, this time. For anybody else have like these crazy ideas and they have nothing to do with what you're doing right now? And you're like, why in the world? Let me tell you something about my background. I just told you for 14 years, I was in property management as a trainer. Did I say I worked with kids? Uh-uh. <laughs> Did I say I was an educator? Uh-uh. <laughs> God has a sense of humor. He said, I want you to take that pledge card and activate the voices of youth. I had no idea, like Lily said, that now my passion gave birth to my purpose because I didn't get stuck in the season when the seed came. Every season grew the seed. I want you to say that every season grows my seed. So what are you doing to cultivate and water the seeds within you? Remember, every season is my season. Even when you're in your fall, the fall means that there are some things that have to die off so that your seed can grow up, right? And in the wintertime, things may look dormant, but your seed is laying under the ground so that it's prepared. See, the thing that you don't see is that that's when the roots are going into the ground. It's that seed season to be cultivated and that cold on top is kind of packing it down so that it can be ready to really spring forth. And then comes January and March and then we start to see a little color in the atmosphere, right? And we get a little happy and it's sundress season, y'all. But what you doing your squats though in the winter time? See, that's what I'm saying. Every season is your season. So that in the spring, what you plant today when you do your vision board, Will, will be what blooms and blossoms in your life in February, March, and April. The problem is we get impatient with our season. Let me tell you something. If you don't worry about the season, it takes care of itself. Did you have to ask the leaves to change colors? No. Did you have to ask the sun to come out for it to be warm? No. If you do your part, the seed takes care of itself. So, I'm going to leave you with this here. We are now in season four. And today, ladies, I challenge you. This is your opportunity to welcome yourself to your new life. 
what will your season be? Remember, it's not a destination. Say every season. Every season. Season. Is my season. Is my season. Welcome to your new life. Thank you. Thank you.